So here we are, and I'm finally making that video. Um, I have had people ask me about it. I've even had friends ask me about it. Um, this is just a path my group and I always use, and it's the best way that we always farm. The three most important thralls that we always know we're going to need, which of course is going to be a Bladesmith, a Shield Rite, and Yogg's Chosen. And I will just run this loop repeatedly. And later in the video, it does involve the city. And the reason I'm able to just run this full circle is because I like to clear the entire city. Now, while I'm looking for these three main thralls, I am always on the lookout for other thralls as well, especially, you know, when you're just starting out and even even fresh on official, if, you know, maybe you don't want to call in a body vault or maybe you don't have these thralls in a body vault or you just want to play fresh because sometimes it's fun to just start from nothing and build up and see how far you can get it's always nice to be able to accumulate the thralls you need and other thralls you need as well along the journey so i figured i would take the time in this video to show a map as well if you wanted to pause the video and then show my pathing as well and this is just what i do on repetition i will do this for hours and I'll eventually get everything that I'm looking for. Of course, sometimes there are going to be cases where you just can't find that shield ride or that bladesmith or whatever you're looking for. But nine out of 10 times with good consistency and good repetition, I always seem to end up with the thralls that I need. And this is just how I do that. It's nothing, it's nothing out of the ordinary. People have been doing this path forever especially around uh, Noob River, which we will get into a little bit later because I do want to show a couple of things. But right here, after we check this Yogg's Chosen, this is not drawn on the map, but I do sometimes like to check this camp that's straight across from the last camp we were just at. You might find a couple name thralls and whatnot there. It's not usually the best place, so I don't farm it consistently. But sometimes I like to swing by and I made sure to include, you know, kind of a possibility of what you might get there if you were going to break off of the main course and just kind of, you know, meander around and check out what's going on. But from here, we're going to make our ways to Sinner's Refuge. I am sure most of you know about Sinner's Refuge. If you don't, then you are slacking. Sinner's Refuge is one of the greatest places on the exiled lands you can literally almost get every important thrall you need out of this place you can even get a circa of the silk a zoth priest which is for uh, of course weapon damage crafting but uh since zoth spears have been nerfed they're, they're they're not as prevalent as they once were but you know you can get a lot of priests in here like mitra actually yeah just mitra you can get a lot of mitra priests in here uh, Zoth priest. I think that's it when it comes to priest. But I'll put on the there, there, there will be some text on screen telling you all the stuff that you can get at the very end of the cave as well. A lot of great spawns in here, and they're very easy to knock out when you're starting out. This is a very, very trafficked place on most unofficial private servers that I play on because most people use this place, and it's a it, if you just take it over, you know, and you got a few teammates, you know, just take it over, make it yours. And this is a great place alone that you can get. But as you can see, Alchemist, Taskmaster, Mitra Priest, Zoth Priest, Cook, Carpenter, Smelter, etc. I didn't, I, that's what I got. I, I kept killing things over and over because I wanted to make a proper list. There might be a couple that I missed that's why I put etc. there. So just keep that in mind. Now, the next spot I'm going to show you is one of my little favorite spots. That's just literally right across from Sinners, and I always have to check it. That is where the blue line ends on the map in the picture you saw. And I just like to showcase that. I know for some of you that are experienced, this might be a bit tedious of me showing my path, but I thought it was something different and kind of nice to throw in especially if you're newer to the game but we're just going to go up this path and to the left and there's it's not even a camp there's nothing on the map that shows it as a camp it's literally just a bonfire with a couple of thralls but you can actually get a you know a good named out of this and i do show you that right here 
Now, another thing I wanted to discuss when I had previously mentioned Noob River, Noob River has a lot of amazing spots where named thralls can spawn. I will show a couple right here. It's not the usual path that I like to follow. So normally I will literally just run my path from Sinkhole Abbey and then I will, I, I will know where map rooms are and I will use that map room to go to Brim. And then from Brim, I will farm that city a bit slower because the thralls are stronger. But after that, I like clearing that because then by the time I come back to Sinkhole Obelisk, well, they're respawning and I'm good to go. And then it just becomes an infinite loop. It can be a bit tedious, but I will say use a horse. I should have prefaced that sooner. I'm just running around on foot right now to show you. I do run around on foot a lot. But as you can see, if you have a horse, these small camps around Noob River, they do have a chance. They're very easy to clear. And if you want to check them, you can. I'm not including all of them in this video because it's really not a part of my pathing. I would just show the options. I literally hate this spot because of the crocodiles. I have seen named thralls that I want die to these things before I could save them. So yeah. I'm not a big fan of this spot, but just keep that in mind. If you wanted to incorporate Noob River into your uh, pathing, it's a great option. And there's lots of little spots that can offer, uh, just offer a lot of great potential for thrall spawns. So check it out. But from here, this is pretty straightforward. If you've ever been to the city, we're just going to teleport in from the obelisk. We're going to run up this path. Or if you have a horse, Trust me, use a horse when you're doing this. It'll kill some time. But sometimes the reason I just choose to run around on foot is to give the game more time for those thralls to be guaranteed to be respawned. So take that as you will. Uh, if you use a horse, you might get there faster. If you're not clearing everything like I am, uh, they might not respawn. But you'll be ready for it when you go back to Sinkle. And I, I will clear... I will clear most of the stuff in here. Sometimes I don't clear those carpenters. I don't really clear the dancer and fighter there. But I most of these areas that I'm showing, if not all of them, I clear all of them and I check them repeatedly when I come back just to see what possibly could have spawned. And I don't mind taking my time in the city for a couple reasons. One, the city is, is, is a trafficked area. People like to use it. And it can offer good PvP, and, you know, maybe you can get something out of that. And I, I always enjoy finding some PvP while I'm around. Now, mo most of the time when I am farming Thralls, I am in a PvP build. I would suggest that for you as well if you are new. It's nice to be in a PvP build. You can have a Thrall with you if you want the extra, you know, concussive damage to help you knock things out or clear uh, Thrall camps as well. And that's up to you how you do it. Normally, I do have a thrall or I am just specced into, you know, a fighter build and PvP build. And I just clear them real quick with like a Lemurian Axe. A Lemurian Axe is one of my favorite weapons to use against clearing thralls. So that's that's basically it. That That's literally what I do. I usually go full 20-20-20. So I hit really hard. And I usually use a Lemurian Axe. And I do sometimes like to bring a Thrall. And sometimes I'll even wear armor that gives me more concussive damage. Or gives my Thrall more percentage into damage as well. But that's it. That's my path. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found it useful. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, just let me know. If you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. Um, that's it. That's it. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. I just thought the I would take some extra time showing my personal pathing in case you're newer to the game and, you know, you're watching this video trying to absorb as much knowledge as possible. Here you go. I'll see you guys in the next one.